In this video, while we're solving this puzzle, we're going to hit a major roadblock and we'll have to uh, find out how to get past it. This one, um, once we hit that roadblock, it's going to be pretty tricky to uh, find the next number, but I'll uh, walk you through it. When we get to that point, I'll let you know. So if you'd like to pause the video and see if you can uh, figure out a way to um, solve it yourself, I'll let you know at that point. Um, and then I'll continue on and um, untangle the roadblock and then we'll move on. This is puzzle number 234 from Dell Original Sudoku, November 2011. Right, well, first here we'll hit some pretty easy numbers. One, 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 ghost ones, one, with the one there, so, so yeah, one, ghost ones, one. Got an eight here, eight here, so that's an eight. All right, two, two. Two, now I've got a four and a four here, so that's a four right there, and a four here. With this wall pattern right here, we've got ghost fours there, so one of these is a four. A four there and a four there. All right, now I've got a six here, six here, six there. That's a six. All right. Now what are we missing here? We've got one, seven, eight, nine. One, seven, eight, nine missing in row one. We got an eight and a nine here, so these are one, seven twins. These are eight and nine. There's an eight there, so that's a nine. That's an eight. Now we've got what are we missing here? Three, four, and seven. One, two, three, four, seven. There's a seven there, seven there, so that's a seven. Now we've only got a three and a four left here in uh, box two. And we know that this is a four, and I'll show you how I know that. There's a four here and a four here, so one of these is a four. There's a four here and a four here, so one of these is a four. Using double column elimination, that eliminates these two columns, and the four in box two has to be right there. Now I'm talking about patterns and techniques that I'm using to solve these puzzles, uh, like uh, double column elimination, I talked about the wall pattern, I'll talk about more patterns and techniques, but you can find those on sudokuprimer.com. Uh, write-ups about these different patterns and techniques I'm talking about. So that these were three and four, so we found where the four goes, so that's a three right there. All right, now, let's see, what are we missing here? Six, seven, nine. There's a nine there, so that's a nine. Now we have six and seven missing. With that seven, we can solve them. All right, now we've only got one number left here in row three, and that's a three right there. Now we have one seven twins there, five six twins there. Can't solve either of those yet. All right, and then uh, let's see. All right, again, using double column elimination, I can find this seven in uh, box six here. There's a seven here, so we have ghost sevens there, or seven here or here. All right, and that means seven and seven here. This is a seven because we have ghost sevens there. So I'll fill that one in. I also know that this is a seven. That's because we have one seven twins here. 
one of these is a 7, and using double column elimination, these two columns are taken care of, so the 7 has to be in this column. There's 7 there, 7 there, so we know that's a 7 right there. All right, and then uh, with, uh, yeah, we filled in that 7 also. All right, now we've got a 9 here, so the 9 has to go here or here with that 9. We know it goes there. All right, and let's see, we've got an 8 here, 8 here, 8 here, so that's an 8. 8, 8, 8, with that 8, we know this is an 8. All right, now at this point, um, we're, we're pretty stuck. And this is a point I mentioned at the beginning of the video. If you'd like to pause the video and see if you can get past this point, um, I'll uh, um, continue on, but if you'd like to pause the video, go ahead. I'll give you a hint if you'd like. Uh, pause it now if you don't want to get the hint, but we're going to solve this number next right here. Okay, We've got 1, 2, and 3 here. 1, 2, 3 left in this column. We're going to find this number, and I'm going to fill that one in. So, so I'll, go, I'll go ahead now and continue on. We, we've got one, two, three triplets here in this column, in column four. And any of those three numbers can fit in any of the three columns at this point. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right. Now let's look at this area and see if we can find any more information that will help us. We've got a 6 and a 9 here, a 6 and a 9 there, and a 6 and a 9 here. So these are 6, 9 twins, these two right here. With those 6, 9 twins, um, what do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, 2, 3. And we can't solve those, but we know these are two, three twins right here. All right. Now let's look a little closer. With these six, nine twins right here, we've got a two here, so a two can't go there. Can't go here or here, so we know that one of these is a two. Okay. And let's look at box six here. We've got a four and an eight in opposite corners. This is the, the opposite pattern. Let's see if we can do something with that. We've got a four, two, nine. There's a four and a nine already. We don't have a two in this box yet. And we've got a six and an eight down here. We've got an eight here. So we've got a two and a six in this column that aren't already in this box. If we can find a two and a six in this row, We'll know these are two six twins. There's a six, but we don't have a two yet. But remember, we have ghost twos here, because the two can't fit here, here, or here. We have six nine twins here. We have a two there. So one of these is a two. So we have two six two six. So we have two six twins here. So what do we have so far? One two threes here. Two six here. Two six here. So there are two six twins here with this opposite pattern that we found. All right. So that means that has to be a one or a three. Can't be a two. So we've narrowed it down a little bit. Now let's look a little closer. Look at this cell right here. What are we missing? What can this cell see already? It can see a one. Can't see a two, so that can be a two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, that can be a 2 or a 9. So we have a 6, 9 twins here. We have two 6 twins here. We have a 2 or a 9 here. So we have 6, 9, 2, 9, 2, 6. We have two 6, 9 triplets here. That means we're missing 1, 2, 
three, one and three, four, five, six, oops, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're missing one and three here. So we have one three twins here. Because we have two six twins there, six nine twins there, and a two and a nine, two or a nine there. So with these one three twins, we know that can't be a two either. So we have one three there because of the ghost twos there and one three here because of the two six nine triplets. So now we know these are one three twins and that is a two. So we had to find these two six twins, the six nine twins and this two nine, two or nine there in order to find these triplets in order to get that two there. Now as soon as we get, once we got that two there, we know one of these is a two. So we have a two seven here, two seven twins here. And that means one of these is a two, and with that two, we know it fits there. Remember the twos that we were found here, either um, ghost twos here. Well, now we have a two here, so we know that's a two. And now with that, we can finish these. We're missing one, two, three, five. And we got a three there, so we know that's a five, and that's a three. All right, now we're only missing one number here, and that just happens to be a five. It's the only number missing in that column. And remember our six, nine twins here. We have a six and a nine there also, so we know that's a three. The only number missing in box four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then, um, let's see. Now we have one three twins here. With that three, we can finish those. And we can put a one there because of the one three twins we found out, found about, found out about here. All right, now we're only missing a three and a five in this column here. There's a five, so we know that's a three and that's a five. All right, and now we're only missing one, three, one and three here. With that three, we can fill those in. And remember our one seven twins here. Now we can fill those in. And we have two seven twins here. With that seven, we can solve those. With this two, we know that's a six and that's a two. Remember our two six twins there. And we only got one number left here, that's a five. And we have five six twins there. We can fill those in. We found those earlier also. Now we have a six nine and a two nine there. Well, there's a six, so we know that's a nine. And that's a six. That's a two right there. So what are we missing here? One, two, three, four. Four, nine. With that nine, we can fill those in. All right, now we're only missing three, four, and five at the end here. We got a three there, so that's a three. Missing four and five. With that four, we can fill those in. And we've got it. All right. Well, uh, again, uh, when we when we hit major roadblocks, we have to get fancy and tricky. Um, in this case, I found the two six twins here. Well, I found the six nine twins first, and found these ghost twos, which found these two six twins, and we knew, we could see that that was either a two or a nine. So we could um, then we found these triplets found these one three twins, and then we found these one three twins, and that helped us find this two right there. And then once we found that, you know, pretty much broke the puzzle open and we were able to finish it. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that was a, a good uh, um, way of teaching you how to uh, 
find difficult find a way through difficult situations.